Alright guys, it is um actually it's pretty late. My phone's dead, but it is seven like 54, 740-ish, and I'm here at Geometric Skate Shop. What's up, man? I came here to pick up a heroin board because this is the only shop, and well, they have two shops, but they are the only ones who have it. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm just gonna shout off. What's up, man? This is Josh. Yes, Josh. Jo nice oh, Josh. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. So, this is the board I'm getting. Just wanna show it off to y'all. Yeah. I got the wide grip. Oh, nice, thank you. This is a monster, it is a 10.4. Oh, it's on North Houston. It's by the North Houston Skate Park, and that's our first one that we. Oh, have. that's sick. How long has that one been around? Like three or four years now. Oh no, wait. That's probably why I don't even know about them. By the time I like, I picked up skateboarding again when I moved to Kelly. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, y'all. So today we're gonna be show setting up a new board. Um, this is actually my first time back in Texas. Um, so I'm in. From my understanding, this is the Dylan Duncan Skate Park in the middle of. Um, I call it Kingwood. Some people call it uh, North Park. I don't know. I'm going to be showing off a little bit of what I got to the camera so y'all can get excited with me. We're going to set up a new heroin egg board and um, I'm going to show this off to y'all first because this is pretty cool. Can y'all guess the size? Yup, 10 inches. So I finally got that slappy truck order back in so hopefully these don't have any issues with the kingpin. I'm really excited to skate them. I'm going to be skating my bones wheels. Um, these are really, really nice to skate, so I'm pretty excited to get back on them. And I'm gonna show off the heroin board I got this time. I decided to go with the 10.4, just because I have 10 inch trucks and I really wanna maximize them. Like last time I had them on a 9.6, and I feel like it was a little bit too small. Um, I felt like my, tr my board was bigger than my trucks, and I don't like that feeling when you put a little bit of pressure and it just, I don't know, I didn't like the feeling. Also, I think the wheels I was skating last time were the wide boys and I really did like how they slide and everything but I'm so used to tablets that I just I'm excited as hell to switch back I decided to get mob grip just cuz mob grip and this is the 11 inch grip I think I'm just gonna go straight with like a flat I'm not gonna go any design just with this adventure I want to start trying to skate more vert using heroin board so I know that everybody has like their thing well my thing is gonna be is I learned how to skate ramps I learned how to skate vert but I do it using heroin boards um, I want to see how far I can take this. I'd like to learn how to drop into pools, learn skate more like aggressively. I, I've always been more of a street skater, so this has been like a very big uh, change for me. I learned how to frontside air, and ever since then, I just I want to just fly. So let's, let's set up this board today, guys. Um, skate it, and we're gonna see how it goes. Pretty excited. They do have a half pipe here. Can't wait to show y'all what they have here. For now, we're just gonna focus on the board setup, and let's get started. With the, I understand that this kingpin makes it way easier to grind. That's another thing I'm excited about on these. And I'm gonna keep the packaging. The packaging is really, really cool. It's like a guy going, what size? 10 inches? Um, I don't know, I just think that this is really dope. So, it's a small little, I don't know, everything that they add to trucks is cool. Everything that they add to skateboard stuff is cool. We're gonna be careful how we open this. All right. And I don't know about y'all, but I low-key just keep these stickers. I don't know what you guys do with them. Um, yeah, I keep them. I I'd suggest y'all do the same. They're really, really cool. And they have a nice design. Um, so, yeah. I don't put them on my board. <laughs> nice to flip. And on a board this big, you can actually see it. I'm going to put it close to the camera. You can see all the curvature in the board. And that's... That, I don't know, that's just sick. Alright, stickers off. Now the fun part is gripping. Um, I'm not a great person at putting on grip, so I'm going to literally tell y'all that I'm going to do my best and that is exactly what's going to happen. So, we're going to move this stuff to the side and we're going to do our best. Remember that. That's all you can actually do sometimes. Do your best. So a little secret I do is I tee like where I'm going to bend. Alright. Did we go good on first try? We went on first try good. Alright, cool, cool, cool. 
<laughs> Once in a while. Yeah, nice. I think we hit all the curves. All right. So a little secret you could do. I mean, if you're, we're already gonna put our wheels on. Just take one of your wheels and roll it through and it's gonna be able to smooth out some of these spots. And actually start giving your board the shape. We don't want any air bubbles. We wanna get rid of them now. All right. So now that we did that, we could take our tool. And if you guys didn't know, a lot of tools have this edge on the entire side that you can use to scrape on your board. So we're gonna use it too. All right, now we're gonna take our grip because you wanna be able to sand the edges down so it just gives you a solid like finish. All right, <clears throat> awesome. Now that that's set up, you can see how nice it looks. It's actually way bigger than it should look, but I don't know, I'm really digging this. By the way, these are Bones Neo, Neo something. It's a really nice setup. Um, they're 101A, that's why I like them. In case you are wondering, I don't really go for a specific, honestly, I don't even think size most of the time. It's just hardness. I wanna be able to slide. So that to be able to slide, that's a 101A on concrete. Unfortunately, that might not be the best thing here because a 101A on a plastic park, as when I, when I show you all the park, you guys are gonna be like, oh yeah, you're gonna struggle. But um, I'll be thankful when I hit a concrete park and uh, yeah, I have the right setup for it. I actually like how peaceful setting of boards is. There's like people, I guess, washing their cars in the background. A lot of cars driving by. Um, life's busy right now, but I'm just sitting here in the middle of um, Kingwood, setting up a skateboard. And I don't know, I find that peaceful. I don't know, I'll probably put some like calm music while I set this up, maybe speed it up a little bit, but yeah. I enjoy setting up boards. Look at how nice that looks. Cool. What I do to set up the screws is I'll pop them straight through, but make sure I keep my finger on the base so it's like an even pop. And if you do that, it doesn't mess up too much. You get these little things that you can just pull off. You'll get dots versus having a hole. So there it is, guys. Set up our 10.4 heroin egg. This is the um, from my understanding, this is the Paul's egg. It's a guest board. Um, I'm gonna show it off before I actually shred it. So like I said, I got the Slappy Trucks, 10 inch. Um, and then I have the Bones Neo wheels. I ended up putting on, I, like I really just like this design. It has like the hat with the dinosaur on it and it has Paul's egg on it. It's really, really sick. I'm excited to skate it. It's finally set up. All right, y'all. We're gonna do a skate park tour now that my board is set up. This is what I'm excited for, y'all. They have an actual half pipe here. It's not huge, but yeah, y'all bet I'm gonna try this. I just, I don't like this landing at all, but I think it might just be a really solid launch and that's it. Um, they have this box here. It's really, really weird shaped, but I feel like you can ollie on and do some really nice tricks off. Another thing I'm extremely excited about is this, I don't even know what you call these, like a transfer? but it, it's not that steep. It's perfect to like learn stalls on. Like you can hit it from here and there. It's perfect to learn stalls on, really go to town. I'm really excited for this. That's actually pretty cool. It's extremely long and it has a kink on it. Um, I'm really excited for this too, just cause once I get more comfortable, I really want to learn how to skate um, rails again. So this is what's going to be, that's going to teach me. It's extremely long. Uh, it has a kink, so it'll teach me how to use that downward slope. Uh, they have two boxes here, but they look drier than the moon. I don't think I'm going to touch them at all. We're gonna set up the board to skate this half pipe, um, but I'm pretty excited. Like I said, we're skating the 10.4 heroin egg board today. So let's see how it goes. Like I mentioned to y'all, this is the start of me skating vert. So I don't know how it's gonna go. I've basically never really done this. I can do a couple of stalls. So we're gonna try what we can, get the hang of it a little bit more. I wanna start front side airing, back side air. Um, I wanna try fakie 360 and maybe some other little things, but I might not try that transfer today. I... All right, let's get it, y'all. Ooh, that thing is so slippery. 
you like actually have to like fully lock out. We're gonna have to learn those again. Oops! You like fully have to back up. Shit. That one's scarier than Smith and Feeble. I don't know why. It's like dropping your board in the water, it's muddy. Alright, let's get it on there. Oh, so ugly. All right, I'm gonna start trying some front side airs. Hopefully I can start sending it. My goal is to go past coping. So, we'll see how it goes. Oof. I'm not gonna lie y'all, I'm already tired. Man, very unhealthy young man. That was nicer, a lot nicer. Start trying to get some air. I'm gonna bunk off coping now. I'm gonna try to. Oof. Probably need to go faster. Cause I'm popping way below to get over it. The way I do my front side airs, um, not really the traditional way to do them. I don't bunk off coping. I basically aim for one edge and do like a rainbow. It's not the right way to do it. Um, it doesn't really teach you how to air out, so I'm gonna try doing it the right way. It's just, if y'all see, this skate park doesn't necessarily have a coping or a vertical, so I don't know if it's gonna work. And it's really hot, so sadly y'all, I'm not gonna lie, Probably got like five or six more lines and I'm done. Um, I brought a sweater. What some guy told me is to use the straight lines as a guide. So you have a line here and a line here. And when you're trying to ollie past scoping, you shouldn't want to go basically past those lines. You want to make sure you keep it within. So that's the goal. A clean, more tight ollie. That's a lot harder than like the rainbow version. A lot harder. Woo! Okay. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and rainbow it. Just cause to get my version of front side air comfortable, I'm gonna have to do it this way. I'm gonna try a baby one. Maybe, let's see. Oof. Thank you, 360 right here. I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. Houston's fucking brutal. That's all I'm gonna be able to give that session. I wish they had lights here. This is a really, really fun half pipe, but I just can't keep going. I'm extremely hot. Um, I started like seeing in and out and I was like, oh, I'm about to pass out, I guess. They got extremely fucking hot. I got, I mean, I got all the tricks I wanted to get. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna even go for a front side air grab and I did. Um, very small. I didn't do it like the correct way. I did it my way, but that's fine. I it's been a good sesh. I'm gonna take off. Um, thank y'all for watching. Uh, tune in next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know if y'all want to meet me up at a skate park, and I'll skate with y'all. So it's been a fun session. Um, tune in out, y'all.